The food scene in Stockholm has exploded and so has tourism. If you're visiting and want to explore the true Scandinavian cuisine but don't know where to go, then this video is for you. I am giving you my top five favorite restaurants to check out for authentic traditional Swedish foods in Stockholm. Before we continue, make sure to hit the subscription button and the bell button next to it to get notified for videos like these. Now let's get to it. Number one, Restaurant Ten Soupet one of Stockholm's oldest restaurants at 150 years. They serve truly traditional foods with the utmost quality. The food is not only homey and nostalgic, it is one of the most delicious things I've ever eaten in Stockholm. They serve things you may recognize like Swedish meatballs with the works, which is of course gravy, mashed potatoes, lingonberries, and pickled cucumber. Blood pudding this is a delicacy and if you're ever going to try it, it's here at Ten Sopet. They pour browned butter and top with diced pork belly, apples, and lingonberries. How's all this trying? Like right, blood right, pudding, bloody were like. Which is basically pork's blood with flour? It's not is just it? pork, it's pork blood. <laughs> oh wow. Mmm. Wow. Good, right? Bloody well right. <laughs> bloody good. Good. Mm. If you like steak, they also have a dish called beef rydberg, which is also a very classic Swedish dish. This is a great choice here if you love meat. It's a filet mignon with caramelized onions and potatoes and horseradish sauce. I absolutely loved everything we ordered, but the piece de resistance here is the Wallenbergere. It's a veal mousseline topped with browned butter, green peas, and served with mashed potatoes and lingonberries. This is my absolute favorite here, and everyone in my company agreed. This is something you have to order at Ten Stupid. Next on my list is Knut restaurant and bar. Here you will be able to taste the northern region of Sweden. As they claim themselves, Knut serves northern food with one foot in the wilderness and the other in civilization. On the menu you will find things like deer, elk, wild boar, mushrooms and berries native to northern Sweden. Their menus change seasonally and vary a bit between the two locations, bar or restaurant. However, everything is equally delicious. This summer I had their northern style charcuterie board as an appetizer which consisted of moose sausage, smoked deer sausage, smoked pork sirloin, deer heart, Vestabotten os, which is a Swedish hard cheese. Their main dishes like grilled venison sirloin and chuck of veal were also incredible meals. If you like sweets, definitely also make room for desserts like this chocolate mousse with Biscuits and an elderberry center. Knut is one of those places I have come back to every time I've been in Stockholm since they opened a couple of years ago. If you're on a budget but still want to experience Scandinavian flavors, the herring cart serves up Swedish classics street food style. Get their popular open-faced herring sandwich or a herring plate that consists of breaded and seared herring with mashed potatoes. I have a whole video about this cart. You can find the link to it in the description box below. To continue the seafood theme, and next on my list is Melandesh Fisk. This is a classic seafood place on various locations that serves Swedish seafood in classic Scandinavian style. They have daily and seasonal specials as well as their standard dishes. Last but not least, we have Pelican or Pelikan. The restaurant that we are visiting is 200 years old. However, this establishment has history that goes 400 years back. And they have a really cool story which you can read about on their website. I'll link it in the descriptions below, so definitely check that out because it's really interesting. But today we're gonna go back to the food. This was my first time here, so we got a beef carpaccio to start with that came with asparagus, a cream of the Swedish Vestabotten Ost, and topped with artichoke chips. Mm. That's really, really good. 
For mains, we got Swedish meatballs served with gravy, pickled cucumber, lingonberries, and puree. I feel like this is something you have to order when you go to a classic Swedish restaurant. We also got ox cheek braised in red wine with mushrooms, pickled onions, and once again, mashed potatoes because it's a classic side here in Sweden. This one definitely stole the show, to be honest, with so much flavor and that meat just fell apart beautifully. Lovely texture and just truly comforting food. I highly recommend coming here if you're in Sweden during a cooler season or just a chilly day because the food is truly hearty and warming. And the old interior of the restaurant is both majestic and cozy and gives you a true taste of Swedish cuisine. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you had any thoughts or comments, please leave them down below. And remember, if you are not subscribed already, I would so, so appreciate it if you could hit that subscription button and the bell button so I can make more videos like these for you. Thank you, bye.